Coming up, border officers dig a bit too deep into one man's bag. What's up? <laughs> oh, right, oh, this is your eyes. This is your private collection, is it? At Gatwick Airport, a flight has just landed from Port of Spain, St. Lucia. UK border officers need to closely monitor flights from the Caribbean, a known source area for cocaine. Sniffer dogs are a powerful tool in fighting smugglers, and one bag in particular gets rookie drug dog Barney excited. Well, I took Barney um, to where the Caribbean flight was landing, and he gave a really nice indication on a passenger's bag. This, this bag is yours, and this bag is yours. Yes. Uh, right, there's things that you cannot bring in this country, OK? okay. Uh, things that you cannot bring here. You have, like, guns? Guns, like, shoot, bang, bang. No guns, no drugs. Oh. Right, no cocaine, no drugs. Right? Sure? OK. Has anybody given you anything to bring back? You're carrying parcels and gifts for people. The passenger is acting nervous, and Warren decides to do some background checks. I mean, he's quite a presentable bloke that you probably wouldn't, wouldn't look at too much, but when Darren's come up and said that the dog's indicated on the bag, obviously you focus on, on that bloke. When we focus on him in the queue, he's quite nervous, and he's... You know, he's showing signs that he doesn't really want to be there. He wants to be straight through and out. And obviously, when he's been intercepted as well, he's, he's showed out there as well. He's fiddling with the bag. He doesn't want to make eye contact with you. And then, um, from initially speaking really good English, he doesn't seem to understand what I'm, what I'm saying to him. So, so yeah, so it's all there. The man's bag is put through an X-ray to check for irregularities, and straight away it confirms Barney's suspicions. Very carefully, OK? I know your English is not good. OK, I'm arresting you on suspicion of being involved in the illegal importation of a controlled drug. OK, you don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand what I've said to you? No, I Well, basically, in a nutshell, OK, I think you have drugs in your baggage. And that's why you've been arrested. What? I think you have drugs in your bag in here, OK? So you've been arrested for that, yes. We'll explain it a bit more later on, OK? Warren has uncovered a false bottom in the suitcase. But with the man now claiming not to understand English, it's going to take a while to get to the bottom of the story. At Manchester, border officers in the immigration area have asked Officer Liz to search a man hoping to enter the UK on a tourist visa, as they have concerns over how long he plans to stay. This gentleman's coming into the country to meet someone he's met on the internet. It's um, a girlfriend and he's coming into the UK to see her for the first time. And how long is it you're here for? Uh, six months. Six months. And uh, why have you come to the UK? Um, to eventually try to get married to my girlfriend. I proposed her over online. Oh, right. And she accepts it? Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. The reason that we're going to search for his bags now is because the immigration officers have questioned him upstairs when they took his passport off him when he entered the UK. And because of what he said, his reason for staying here, that's why they want us to search his bags to see if there's any documents in there that's going to indicate he's going to stay in the UK for longer than what he's, he's intimating. And when did you meet your girlfriend? Uh, back in October. October 1908? Yeah. yeah. She's got a pot the man is being unusually candid, but his story has all the hallmarks of an immigration scam. All right, so you met her in October 08. Where was that? Uh, on an online game. <laughs> oh, in an online game? Yeah. Oh, right, what game was that? Uh, Second Life. Second Life? Yeah. What's that all about? What's, what, what kind of game is that? Is it like it's a... a, a role-playing game. All right. It's just a bunch of pictures. OK. Right, so you've proposed to someone you've never even met. The man's honesty is starting to get him into trouble. So when you get married, um, when, when do you plan to get married? 
Well, we're gonna try to give it about a month or two, and then we're gonna, if we're still madly in love with each other, we're gonna All go right. ahead and do it. Okay. And then we're gonna apply for the marriage visa. Right, and where will he live? Will he live here or in the States? Uh, I'll live with her. But this is against immigration rules, and unless he begins to explain himself, the romance may have to remain online. That's a pair of panties she sent me. All right, it's okay. All oh, right, this is the movie collection. Yeah. It seems the custom search is starting to go a bit deeper than the man would like. What's up? <laughs> oh, right, oh, this is your eyes. Yeah. This is your private collection, is it? That's yeah, okay. My dad tried stealing from me. You've got a bit of cannabis in there. It's a bit of, bit of weed there, is it? Liz discovers what could be cannabis. No more cannabis. And suddenly yeah, the man is. becomes evasive. Is that what it is? I'm not really sure. You're not sure? OK. Are you just hang on there for a minute? The man's bid to meet his fiancée looks on increasingly shaky ground. In Gatwick, the suspected smuggler has been taken to the custody suite. Meanwhile, Warren investigates what's hidden inside the suitcase. It's pretty, it's pretty well done, actually. Basically, you can see that it's got a, like a false bottom in it. What we want to do is just to spike it and test whatever's underneath. Let's see what we've got. You can see, you've got like a white powder oil paste on the end there. It's like a field test for cocaine. Warren has found a white powder hidden deep in the structure of the suitcase. See it start to go blue already. So we've got cocaine in there. And it's a big haul for the team. How much do you think so? One? Three kilos. Three? Two, three. That's good. The man has to be held while a Bulgarian translator is found. The officers are now able to communicate the seriousness of the crime. Right, for that reason, the KE was arrested on suspicion. You've been involved in the illegal importation. Of a controlled drug. What, uh, what drug do you mean? It doesn't really matter at the moment, OK? Where did it come from? Well, I don't know. Don't he'll, he'll have to explain that and he'll get the chance what to explain that later. Should, should we, so that to OK, all we're concerned with at the moment is him realising or understanding why he's been arrested, OK? At the moment, just the only thing that you need to understand is why you've arrested. For rookie drug dog Barney, it's his first seizure, and he's in line for a big reward from handler Darren. I'm really pleased. He's a new dog to me, but he's doing really well. I think he's a star in the making. <laughs> Good lad. Back in Manchester, immigration have asked customs officer Liz to examine the bags of a passenger from the US with a suspicious story and some suspicious baggage. This guy's just come over from America. Um, he's come to see his internet girlfriend who he's never met before. Uh, it sounds like he's intending to stay, so it sounds more like an immigration issue than from our point of view. Uh, I've just been looking. He's, he's got some adult DVDs, but I've just found a little tiny, tiny, just little residue potentially of cannabis, herbal cannabis, so I'm just going to give it a quick test and just see if it, if it is or not. Yeah, so I've got a positive reaction. It's a it's very, very small amount. I mean, obviously, he's been very upfront, upfront about what his intentions are, uh, which could be unfortunate for him, uh, depending on what immigration decide. But from what he's been saying to me, it does sound like he does intend to, um, you know, come over here to get married and to, you know, stay here with his with his with his wife when he gets married. Liz thinks the cannabis is probably just a sign of personal use, and so decides to hand him back to immigration. 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's reactive positive to cannabis. Um, I mean, have you got any drugs on you at all today? No, man. No. OK, okay what will happen now is uh, we'll take you back upstairs. Um, I'll just show the immigration officer the paperwork that I found. OK, and um, then it'll be up to them then. They might want to ask you a few more questions. Basically, he's applied for a visit visa, uh, which means he's come here for the purpose of tourism. When he's actually got to the immigration desk, he told the immigration officer that he's come to meet his girlfriend. So it sounds really like he's come, he doesn't intend to go back at all. So I've passed that information on to the immigration officer. They'll interview him and they'll make a decision about whether or not to let him come into the UK or whether to send him back home to America. The man was allowed into the UK to meet his fiance for the first time their relationship has been put on hold as he was returned to the United States the next day. The Bulgarian was charged with smuggling cocaine. He pleaded guilty and was sentenced to six and a half years in prison.